it's your favorite killer only one killer here and we are back to the same video and in today's video we're doing more RTA. So uh as of the making of this video the balance patches are officially live. Uh no more talking about how oh they'll be live soon, it's fine. He's got first pick, and I think he's in the the feeder talent list, which is interesting. Alright, let's see what he's got. Banned Belial, so it's rather okay. So it's rather he's cleaving or he is I'll going for that. This. I don't want to take Pierre yet. So I wonder what's gonna happen. Okay, so I mean I guess it tells me to off I'll build. But... Okay. So he's going for a soul's cleave. Which is perfectly fine, mind you. Not like I really care. But... If he's gonna give me that, I'll take it. <sighs> Garby. He's playing Pavel, no surprise. Double book with the Politus, so. Banning Sidon might not be the play. That tells me right away. Milam. Probably just gonna ban Milam to be honest. I feel like I can fight that. I just feel like I get a little bit more counters and I just kinda win. Let's go Mercedes here. Mercedes? Uh, banning Milam. Look, I just think all this, uh, all these counters might just kill him. Assuming they actually counter. So they're using Mana Arby's and Men Piero. You're banning Mercedes, okay. Yeah, it's bad. Mm, I want to stun those. Nice. Death breaks would have been the worst case there. I feel. But no. Actually, maybe I should have hit the the seed on. But yeah. It happens. Maybe in hindsight, I should hit the seed on so the seed on can't just blow up my um. My APOC. I think he had first pick again, right? I think that's what I saw. Yep. Rimuru first pick. A lot of people are not first picking uh, a rally, which is kind of surprising. I feel like she's still a super good pick. If he's picking Sydney this early, okay, yeah, so if he's picking Sydney this early, he definitely has, like, a... Uh, what is it? What's her, what's her name, dude? Oh my god, I'm blanking. Uh, Lermia. My heart's Lermia. Definitely has it, so... Do this... So, got Lermia, then I probably want to bring... a different DPS. Honestly, um, I feel like Alenzi is actually like kind of good here. <laughs> it's Reach, it's Strip. Yep, there's. Okay, if they're gonna go, if they're gonna go straight, they just ban Reamer. <laughs> okay. I mean, this just kind of tells me that they're gonna try and ban the. <laughs> the queen is here. I'm just gonna go and try and ban my thing. Rather, my APOC or my. Crimson Armin. Okay. 
Yep. Okay. No attack buff, then you're not gonna kill it. With some other stuff you might, but... Oh wait, never mind. I gave them the attack buff. In the far from wait a minute is that them her all the way in the back yeah it is holy shit the time has come to blight the world with horror destiny cannot escape my soul some normal nuke strays pretty squishy I cleansed off the unbuffable there, which is really nice. Step back, flies. Hey, sure, let's do it. Why not? Enjoy the pain. It'll be the last this fight is very squishy. I can take him down, get him its ability up. No At least protect three out of the four. Maybe I could have killed the. Mm, that's pretty risky though if I went for it. Damn, he's actually just going for the kill in the billion. Yeah, I mean, that literally just tells me that I have the effectiveness for it. The stripper with the mind's eye, so. She doesn't have any uh, ER splash. That's on a car, but it's fine. Can't stun anybody. I was gonna say like, our best, the best case I was actually to hit the Alencia, but. How close is we to okay, one turn out? I think I can get it. I resisted that thing. Oh, that dual attack's actually huge. One turn off from Trample. Give her Mind's Eye again. Yep, Armia dead. Uh, I, they should just stun, so we should be fine. Or provoking. Ooh, Power Provoke. That's actually nice. I mean, I'm not like it really mattered, but definitely nice. Okay, with no soul, she has to kill three tanky units. I don't think it's happening. I'll deal with this. Yeah. GG. Bunch of imbeciles. Let's didn't even do that bad. She stripped off everything. She really nice. Must I keep and she brought some bulk and a little bit of damage to the table. Danya, let's just kind of slept on. Like, she's not necessarily the best. And uh, I feel like if you had Bryceria, Bryceria would just be better in teams like that, but... Valencia is a, it's a good budget option. <laughs> okay, we got an Emperor here. Maybe I change off the Ran. The Ran pre-ban. Because I really don't like fighting AOL. I'll take life. But... I do have Dilibet now, so maybe I do keep her in. I don't know. More testing required. I don't want to go landy. I don't want to do it right now. I think I just go belly in and I risk the uh. Yeah. I just risk the counter picks. Um. 
Let's see. Uh, could go Archdemon Shadow. And then... Kinda wanna go SSB, but I kinda wanna go a... Let's just say a Pyro DPS. I've been playing too much Genshin, I guess. Um... Maybe I go AOL, actually. Cause AOL will kinda shut him down a little bit, right? With the Rimuru prevents the CC from buffing and it opens up my thing for a seal on turn one. Let's do that. So there are multiple routes that you can go down here. With the, uh, with the banding, you can go down the, the pre-ban for Sea Lilius, get rid of mitigation. Same with Sea Army, get rid of mitigation. Um, he could ban one of my damage dealers, which he does. Okay. So he's just gonna fight the, uh, the Billion, which is fine. Could be kind of risky, because you can put a lot of damage down. I'll make you taste despair. Scar those in our way with destruction and... I resisted. Um, the thing I really don't want getting off is the. I think it's a skill. No, actually, it's the rumor. No, I can go for this. He stole the immunity. Nah, I'm most likely gonna counter her, just be... Just be real. Far from over, but I get the, the proc. Yo, gets the push. I put up the skill null before the S3. It's kinda nice. Symbol Armia. In hindsight, I should have done this on the first turn, but... Pushing back SSB there was kind of bad. Uh, that's the rim room. I'm not gonna live long enough to see this rotate back. It's literally just gonna be billion soul burns. Ooh, if I can push this back. No, I didn't get the proc. Um. Press one. There you go. I think this should be the. No, oh, it's next turn. Are you sure you can handle this? A lion never No matter how. So AOL's probably dead. Yep. This is a really bad draft on my part, though. So like, I can't even pretend like. This shouldn't be happening, but I don't think that SSB is on the lifesteal, so. Although I feel like the Larmia is just gonna solo at this point. SSB is silenced. I have to push back, that's all that really matters. Um, I'm gonna provoke this. Oh, 
I'm getting so unlucky with these provokes or with these strips. Okay, it's huge. Okay, that's fine. Dual attack. All this means for me is that I like need my belly into strip here. Yikes, that was close. Mm, didn't strip enough. I still have the vigor, but I don't know if I'm gonna get around in time. He's not on life still. I didn't have the death buff for the S1. Uh, she already used her her thing. Her skill null. I will get back around, but I just need to do damage. I need to not get provoked either. Actually. Actually a huge kill. Damn, she got around. Maybe not so bad. My Bellion is tanking right now. So... That miss is actually huge. I just need it to miss on the billion. Thirty percent missed on billion. No, it didn't. It missed on C Armin. <laughs> uh, surprisingly close. That was a bad draft on my part, though. So almost pulled it back. I mean, I did get kind of unlucky with my uh with my strips and stuff, but at the same time I also did uh, misplay with the AOL on turn 1, I should have just S3'd, and if I didn't do that, I probably should have soul burned that other time on the S1. Mm. So I feel like if AOL was alive, we would have had fine soul generation, and maybe if I did that, she could have cycled around and the rest 3 up. Okay, it's a... Uh... Korean or Asian Hall of Famer. I got first. Man's Politus. I feel like I know this guy. I think this is the guy with the super tanky uh, APOC Ravi. I know there was one Asian Hall of Famer that I played with super tanky APOC. Uh, Dilly! Okay. Here. Um, I want to see where he takes it from here. Taking Dilly is pretty interesting. That makes me think he's actually like going down control almost, but most likely just going standard. Careful. Or not, he's going control. Okay. Very low damage, so he's probably banning APOC, just to be real. Because I know control teams have a really hard time with APOC Ravi. Um, I need units with strong S1s. Um, Arch Demon Shadows would be really good here. And then, Rimuru is like borderline suicidal, but I could go Rem actually. Rem might live. With all this bluff, I think I'm gonna take the risk that Rem lives, and then if she gets the irresistible S ones, I can soul burn and death break because these are both defense scaling bruisers here, so.
both of these are probably faster than my Cecilia, so I'm not even going to bother pre-banning them. Or just banning them. Not bad. I'm just going to go with my S1s. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, ban mitigation, actually. So, I mean, he's, he's going for the kill. Ooh, AOL is actually slower by a little bit. It's like a 270, 260 AOL. No counters across the board. Unfortunate. But I did get lucky that my... Uh, I think both... Okay. My... Okay, no, I can, I can deal with this. Just because I have to get a lot of seals out. Um, it's probably not going to matter, right? So I might as well just dual attack into the AOL. Because she's going to get the proc no matter what I do. Most likely. I got Vigor up on two. It's pretty huge. The last person who didn't get it was Apoc, who's probably the tankiest out of the three. Ooh, is she just gonna die to the the Lermia's three? She very well could. Uh, yeah, well, not missing out on moles. It's gonna hurt. Symbol. Jesus. God damn that damage. Mm, kill side didn't even really matter. Well, I think I can kill Aeol here. That swan was a good chunk. I'm down too. If I can bring back the uh, the rem here, that'd be really huge. Knowledge seed gives anti crit to both the DPS. That's fucking yikes. Uh, I need her sealed. So now she can't uh, cleanse. Is that all you've got? It's fine that she's gonna get the cleanse, but she doesn't have her S3 up anymore. Well, she does! She didn't use it! Rip. Procs first now because. Oh, I didn't do the AoE. That could cause me issues. I think I'm just dead. Oh, I'm definitely dead. Yeah. I was a really strong Lermia. But also in a mitigation. Hate to see it, but it happens. Doesn't... Wasn't even a misplay. Maybe I should have banned the, or not the ban. I, I should have uh, CC'd the the Dillabet, so she couldn't cleanse. Well, she would have cleansed herself the next turn anyways. Did she only? Did she only cleanse because she got the push? Actually, that's something I may have to rewatch. He gets first. Bans Bellion. A lot of people pre branding Bellion. Not surprising. Your life Takes the eight block. Uh, I'm just gonna go down a safe road right now. Go Remarine. Maybe he has like Kekorik or something. But or he could be going down Cleave. I don't know yet. It's very branchable first pick. He will start showing his hand now. Okay, let's go and cleave. So say he would be showing his hand right about now if he's gonna go down cleave route. So Cause Cleave really does need the uh the diverse picks. Is he not going cleave?
Yeah, okay. Um... I think I just go Rem and... Arby here. I think even if he drafts the Violet, I just leave it. So he has to draft another opener. I think I just leave both the AoEs in, to be honest. I'm willing to do it. Uh, are you sure? Oh, he's going down this route. Oh, that's very risky. In my opinion, that's very risky. So I'm just going to give you this as a force ban. Because the only way Ida pushes is if she has the enabler. Bans the RB. Okay. How are you going to push her Ida though? I guess she's going to do it with the Caesarea? No, but Caesarea is going to force my Selene too. Uh, she's not going to get far enough though. 40, she'd be at 59. This is of a 15%? Yeah, so she'd get it. She'd get it, yeah. Damn, she just S1. She just S1. May I help you? I swear. This S one's gonna hurt. But going for the stuns on the unit that screw over the team. What would be funny is that if you kill her and you counter her, she doesn't detonate, but that doesn't matter. See so now Rem's in demon. No soul burn, she burned this he burned the soul burn from Ada. Forgot about the thing or not. Probably just gonna kill this lane right now. Counters here are still huge for the simple reason of it allows me to get free damage on that Rylet or the Violet without the threat of taking damage. I don't think this is the one that strips, so it's giving me a free counter, free damage to the Violet. Uh, that's my one. This is literally just a one and done, so. Yeah, I was gonna say, if it hits, it hits. If it doesn't hit, then whatever. Ain't no options here. Yeah, that apple was actually a throw on his part. Because it cleansed the Selene. Should've kept it. Baka 7, Tokami. He has first pick. Kekwarik. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're getting to the point where I have to do more climbing off camera. Definitely. Because I'm not, like, streaking anymore at this point. Everyone I'm playing is decent. So. Leaving again, huh? Well, hey, well, instead. So. I think instead I want to go down Dilibet plus Archdemon. This is a very debuff oriented team. If he doesn't draft a counter to Dilibet, he might just be ignoring it, so I might have to draft a second cleanser. So it'd probably be Amelia, I think? Because she definitely provides a little bit more, uh, more protection than... Yeah, he, he's playing around banning my Dilibet. So... Okay.
Okay. He's going to try and nuke my, uh... My Dillabut. That is a... That is a very viable play, sir. Gotta give you that one. Here's the thing. Nah, if this thing's on Stella Harpo, I just kinda lose. But... I feel like I can frenzy battle this. Apoc's also a pretty big problem. If I'm going into a frenzy battle... I think I just ban this and I can seal the Apoc, and then eventually I can just CC her and nuke her. Ban the Rimuru. Uh, that's kinda yikes, so that was my biggest form of DPS. Actually, it doesn't matter if she resists now, but... It's gonna be a definitely grindy game. I mean, I guess this is kind of a scuff check, right? Because if this is a scuffed, um... Holy shit, she cut fast. Uh, just one. Okay, S3 number one goes into AOL, try to get rid of- no, I got rid of it. <laughs> okay. And I proc, so I give her the push. Stripped Escort. Twenty-two K HP, so most likely an HP ring. But that stun really sucks. Um, I guess in hindsight, it didn't even really matter. He's gonna go for it now. The all bet's gonna cut the whole team though with this, so. This is the turn for S3. Not for stun. Okay, we try this again. Yeah, I got 15% on my seal last time. It is Stella Harpa, but I got the debuff on the Roana, so that definitely tells me I have the effectiveness for it. Michael Amelia misses lethal. Um, I didn't get the cleanse. AOL can't kill her. Like, unironically, this is a very winnable game. Especially if Amelia keeps countering to keep herself alive. I got sounds just kind of sucks, but... Mm, these stuns are really annoying. Actually, like, one more counter, I think. I smell yeah, it's fine. Creatures. I didn't get it, dude. My RNG this game. It's really bad. Dilbet, I think, if he has twos into S3, he shouldn't have jumped. Yeah, he knows it. This really blows because I think my uh, melee is just dead. To win. I mean, she's not, but. I need to hit this and provoke it. Like. Oh, I actually did it. Okay, we're in business. We are in business. Oh my 
go. He's gonna get the stun again. He's not even soul burning for 100%, yet I can't get mine on a freaking 75. Ugh, oh, it's so annoying. I didn't even get the cleanse, dude. She has her S2 again. That's why I literally have to seal her again. Sell a harp, a cleanse a blind. There she goes. How many turns out from S3? She's out, right? Like, she doesn't have it? Uh, I think I do this. This way I can soul burn S3 here. And I have attack buff for these burns. Yikes, these burns hurt. Rowana's dead, I think. Prove your worth. And I got the seal. Finally, dude. Luck turning around. Let's go. G effing G's. Let's go. Uh, I want to do one last game. We're at 37 minutes in the recording right now. So he has first. Uh, this is me last game. Win or lose. So. Let's win it. Get to 2450 and the video on a high note. Piera first pick tells me cleave. Like uncontestedly so. So, this. I'll draft just a safe starter just in case he tries to pivot, but that's a very interesting first pick. I feel like this is the type of guy to have like in a PvP or Valen actually built, but I don't know. I have never- I've never faced an Valen worth respecting. Okay. L felt into RB, so he's going a more conventional cleave route. Which is fine, I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, if that's the case, then Bow is actually a decent pick for this. I could continue to go Casino, but I think I just want to go this to prevent Soul Burns, just in case he goes for a Soul Path. Watch her Shuri go for speed imprint. So Elfo's actually an opener here. He would need another stripper though, unless he's just going for one straight nuke on like Apoc or something. Armia. Okay. Uh, now this literally just opens Rimuru. And I'm banning the Pyrrha. Bans Val. He's probably just gonna go for the CC on my Rimuru, which is fine. I think. Might just kill her, actually. I didn't really think about that. Misha. That watcher's kind of fast. I need someone to have an attack buff. I don't think my Rima would live the S3. Uh, it's a CC check. If he doesn't get the sleep or the. Man, he got both. Uh, I just think Rima's dead. Low damage with death break, so yeah, I don't think he's loving this. And now my Apoc Ravi has a death break, so yeah, Watcher just kind of kills this, doesn't he? 
Uh, I mean, he barely did, but yeah, it was over. Was Piera the ban? Maybe Elfel was the ban, actually. No, I... Mm, probably... Maybe Watcher, because maybe Apoc could have sustained the damage. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And uh, we'll do one more. I'm sour about that. Or 41. Video will be like 40 minutes. It's fine. I wonder if he has learned me a build. Haha. Uh -huh. Ooh, actually, I should have checked his points because I saw he was a borderline M. He was like a thousand eighty, I think, right? Mmm, that's unfortunate. Uh I, I really do like having Yeah, and I know he has learned me, that's why he's going for Rimaru. Um Like, this is where, like, situations like this, where I wish I had cleave units built, actually. So that I can actually contest people who draft like this. Uh, my hope right now is that he doesn't have Ricky. At this point. If he has Ricky, I'm in a really bad spot. God damn it. Holy shit. Um... This is very bad. Maybe I go like this is like this is a type of draft that like I'm not used to. They ban my usual first, not to mention they go into units that are good. He's leaving AOL, right? Like let's not kid ourselves, he's leaving AOL. Uh maybe he's using AOL go Landy. He's probably just gonna mill him though. Like, right? Or he's gonna go carry it. He's gonna go something. His last pick is definitely gonna dictate what my last pick is, though. Okay, he goes carrot. Don't smell him. No matter how I slice this, I think I have to go into a pusher. I need a DPS. Holy, I need another DPS actually. Um, cause he's actually just gonna ban my thing. Okay, I go this. I just have to pray that I hit the fucking mill, right? At this point. He might actually ban the rem. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, definitely need to do some more climbing off camera because these fights are actually getting tough. That's actually kind of huge. Because now he has to choose. Holy crap, he got the push for the Millum. Yeah, my Landy's just dead. Cause he's gonna rip it now. That sucks. I didn't realize the Millum was like just barely second. I feel like that was speed RNG too. Um.
That sucks. It's time to find an answer. Maybe not, actually. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna slow burn this. I'm gonna cleanse a burn. No, but Dilipit's gonna push back my cooldown. Because of the strip. I need this. I need to 15% this, actually. Never do. Ah, uh, Naya well takes a third burn because she's dumb. You know what, no, wait, maybe he's not gonna cleanse, actually. Um... I have to go for the kill on Dilla bit, just because she's outgoing DPS. I think I got it. Yeah. Okay, this, this actually puts me in a decent spot here. I can cleanse the evasion from Milam. A Milam goes next. Dude, he's in a cut, isn't he? Damn it. Where did this decrease speed come from? It came from the carrot, right? I need 15% something, dude. Wait, where did- oh, because he swung on it. Please? Never lucky, man. Never lucky. I live in S1. But this increased speed is really hurting. I need to weaken this. I need to weaken the barrier. I got the twenty percent evasion. Oh my god, my luck! It's gonna push the carrot. Carrot has S three, and he has the souls. I mean, this might not be horrible because I'm gonna get the skill null. But I got double burned, and my AOL wasn't ready. Dude, what a, what a lame ass game. So lame. It's so lame. <sighs> like, I don't like. Games like this are where I need a Rylet built, dude. If Rylet was built here, I could have pricked it instead of Landy. It's actually just so annoying. It's like everyone I face has fucking Ricky. Like everybody has every counter unit. To me, it's actually insane. Whatever. Anyways, Ram Piero outsped that one cleave guy, which I was actually kind of surprised about. I would have thought that if you're claving at this high level, 300 is not too bad, but I guess not. Maybe it was speed RNG. So I saw his Pavel was literally one speed behind him. So. I would think that Rand's 300. Like 305. Even. Um, I think Amelia, she... She actually was tanky enough to live in that one fight. So I'm kind of happy about that. Uh, Rimuru did like nothing. He actually just got stunned. <laughs> on his fight. Landing on nuked. Um, Conquer Lewis actually got some, got to see some, some time in the sun, surprisingly. Uh, LQC, she did kill the, um, what's his face? She did kill the, the Dilla bit, but I know, I knew for a fact that I was not going to kill the Rickerous. The Rickerous? Not the Rickerous. The, um, BML Cowrick without an attack buff. Like, if that thing is built properly, there's no way I'm one-shotting it. Should I have gone for it? Maybe? <sighs> In hindsight, I guess I should have gone for it, right? 
because I mean it wouldn't have even mattered. I mean I guess the turn pushback would have been better because I had immunity instead of attack buff and immunity but if I didn't kill the Rickerus I just lost on the spot right so I feel like playing for the 15% chance was better there I mean, if it works the same way like PvP and PvE, in theory, I had a 30% chance to resist. Because it's effect effectiveness minus, or effectiveness minus 15. So... I, I don't know. Uh, maybe, that's, maybe that's math I, I should do off time. Uh, Bellion clutched up a little bit. In her fight, just uh, I I drafted poorly, so that's no fault of hers. That was a misplay on my part. Uh, there you go. She's kind of slow. I need to get her speed up just because her boots aren't ninety and this ring sucks. I don't farm KDs anymore because I just don't want to waste my time. Like I'm like as I'm saying, like every at this point, like every time I do RTA. I always find myself saying I wish I had a Riley built. So I think I'm actually just going to start burning leaves at this point just to get him up and going ASAP. Uh, I saw Carmen already, but just in case. Here she is. AOL. APOC Ravi. And then Archdemon Shadow clutched up in her fight as well. Crown of Surprise. The crit rate neck actually did help me. So, uh, I don't know. Archdemon into uh, ML Selene is good, but you can't have crit rate. So it really does depend. It's a it's a coin flip either if you want the crit rate neck or the uh, HP or whatever. So uh, I'm definitely gonna like go back in and check like just the uh, play testing. Also, yeah, this is the raw that's like a work in progress. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be the end of the video. If you want to see more seven content from me, sure like like comment and subscribe. It'll be greatly appreciated. Uh, helps the video get out to more people. And uh, if you want to contact me, I got my socials in the description. And yeah, have a good day and night wherever y'all are. And as always, peace out.